Breakthrough, a quicker path to fusion power. Australian scientists claim astonishing breakthrough. I'm Steve Belair, welcome to Breakthroughs. According to a recent press release, a team of scientists at the University of New South Wales, UNSW, developed a new way of nuclear fusion, which can put nuclear fusion in a faster lane. Nice. Nuclear fusion is a reaction that gives our sun and other stars their immense power. Two hydrogen atoms fuse their nuclei to form one helium atom, releasing a tremendous amount of energy during the process. Scientists have been working toward turning fusion devices into electricity generators for over half a century. Due to their advantages over nuclear fission, such as lower level of radiation, less radioactive waste, close to zero carbon footprint, and enormous energy output. The current leading designs include the tokamak reactor, adopted by the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor, ITER, and the laser-based inertial confinement device, exemplified by the National Ignition Facility, NIF, in the U.S. So what is so unique about the Australian team's design? Henrik Ora, a UNSW physics professor and the leader of the said project, commented on the advantage of their fusion device. Titanium is very rare, expensive, radioactive, and difficult to store. Fusion reactions employing deuterium titanium also shed harmful neutrons and create radioactive waste, which needs to be disposed of safely. I have long favored the combination of cheap and abundant hydrogen, H, and boron, B11. The fusion of these elements does not primarily produce neutrons and is the ideal fuel combination. The so-called HB11 is a dual laser fusion device. It uses one laser to generate a strong magnetic field for reaction confinement and a second one to activate hydrogen boron fuel pellets with intense heat. The hydrogen boron fusion yields three energetic helium nuclei and zero neutron byproduct. Comparatively, the deuterium tritium reaction used in conventional fusion leads to only one helium nuclei and one high energy neutron, which is hard to shield and waste a portion of the energy yield. Man, that's cool. I'll leave a link in the description to the full article, and as usual, please like, share, subscribe, and take care.